Okay, i am uh, been working hard again at making the autonomous tractor a little better. Um, this video won't be as exciting, but I'm really pleased with my progress and just wanted to uh, show off a bit. So, what I've done here, uh, this lever here is what puts the tractor into gear and uh, what stops it. So right now the tractor's sitting still. If I move this lever and put it in gear, the tractor starts moving. So, I took apart the steering column, um, found out what those wires were doing. It's just some very simple 5 volt logic. So, I ran the wires through this little Arduino Pro Mini right here. Uh, the code is up on GitHub if you're interested. And then, when I provide a signal to it from the Pixhawk, and an alternate safety signal and I've disabled some of the Pixhawk stuff so I'll just show you the safety signal. You'll see right now on the dis... Uh, you can't see it, but you'll see the wheels move. Okay. Okay, as you can see we are moving and if I pull the wire out the tractor stops. So that's pretty cool. So essentially that replaces this I used to have something an actuator very similar to this hooked up on the tractor here and it sat here and it was in the way but it was attached to this lever and I physically moved the lever. Um, now nothing's physically moving anymore. I have this little Arduino and uh, at the moment it's sitting outside the steering column but there's actually lots of room for it inside. I just left it out so that I could do some programming and whatever on it as this as I might need to change a few things uh, yet. Um, okay then over here this this lever here does the speed control for the tractor so that one puts it into gear this one tells the tractor how fast you want to go. It's at its slowest position now and you move it forward and the tractor goes faster. This one was a little bit more involved. Um, I used an Arduino Pro Mini again and the two boards on top are DAC breakout boards from Adafruit. So this one uh, is a hall sensor and it puts out a voltage between 0 and 5 volts on two wires uh, probably for redundancy. So I've got two DACs stacked on top of an Arduino Pro Mini. So I pass the uh, I pass the voltages from the hall sensor that's connected to this lever into the Arduino Pro and then they come out and they run into the tractor's computer. So um, that's how I'm doing this one. This one's a little bit more complicated because I wanted it to be a redundant safety feature and I'll show you how that works now. So if I put it in gear and then I speed the tractor up, oh I'll have to throttle up too. Okay, uh, I don't know if you can see it, you're going to have to take my word for it, the lighting's bad. If I ground out the safety pin on this thing, there, I slowed down. Now I don't know, now if I release the safety pin, even with the lever in the full forward position, the tractor is still just creeping forward. Now in order to reset it, what has to happen is the lever has to be pulled all the way back and now I'm in control again. Uh, the reason for this is that once the tractor is working autonomously in the field, um, in order to make it work autonomously, this lever has to be at the full backward position. It has to get the, uh, a secondary input that tells it it can go and then it can go. So um, there's a quick thing on how that works. I've also got the code up on GitHub for that one. Uh, email me or contact me if uh, you're interested in doing something on your own tractor. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.